Good afternoon. Uh, I'm pleased to welcome you back from lunch and for our next session of TR35, Innovators Under the Age of 35, beginning with Bright Simons, the co-founder of M Pedigree Network. Everything you care deeply about in your world can be faked. Someone with a lot of determination and resources can make a knockoff or a copy of that whatever it is and rob you of the value and the pleasure of enjoying it. It can be your dream car, like this Ferrari that a couple of months ago was uncovered by police in Spain, immaculately shaped to deceive. Every detail exactly like a real Ferrari, except that it was not. It could even be your childhood fantasies. Any Jurassic pa uh, fan packs here? Counterfeiters have gone to the extent of faking dinosaur bones and selling them to natural history museums. That's all fine up to a point. It's about any of those things that I mentioned before. But if it's about medicine, then in some parts of Asia and Africa, you stand one in two chances of picking up something that can do you irreparable harm. The number of people who die from counterfeit medicines, according to a very respected think tank, may be equivalent to uh, the passengers in two jumbo jets dying daily. And as I said, in some countries, one in two of the medicines on sale can do you harm rather than heal you. Given that terrifying prospect, billions of dollars are spent trying to solve this problem. Except that sometimes the solutions are also fake. Like the holograms that you see there that were successfully counterfeited until one in two holograms on each pack of the anti-malaria consent was fake. Ask yourself, if you are in the shop and you're looking at the hologram, how do you tell if it's genuine or real? RFID, another purpose solution, could double the price of the products it is meant to save. How do we go about trying to solve this problem? By allowing consumers in a number of African markets and also in India to simply ask the manufacturer using a basic mobile phone app. Frugal innovation, appropriate engineering, and in my view, we are on course to save millions of lives across the world and we become to some shop very close to you. <laughs> 